Hi everyone. So let's solve some problems, and then we uh, I I I'll, I'll share one one sheet, problem sheet, assignment sheet, so you can solve from that as well. So let's see some questions, some common type of questions. Okay. So first one, an electron moves in a circular orbit with a uniform speed v. It produces a magnetic field v at the center of the circle. The radius of the circle is proportional. Okay, all right. So first thing, look at this. We know that m v squared by r, our main equation, our major equation is m v squared by r is equal to q v v. V v got cancelled. So r is equal to m v divided by q v. So we know that m by q m by q is a constant for a particular particle. So r is proportional to v by v. So answer is r is proportional to v upon v. Okay. Question number two. A particle having mass m and charge q is is released from the origin in a region in which the electric field and magnetic fields are given by magnetic field b is equal to b is minus b zero. J cap e is equal to e zero in K cap. Find the speed of the particle as a function of its z coordinate. This is also very simple question. So when you look at the options, you would see that it is very difficult to make the equation, but it is very easy. Look at this. We have to consider the z direction. So look at this. That is in the z direction it is moving. So you can say that. Uh, like v square is equal to two a z. From there we have got it. V square is equal to u square plus two a z. So we can we can consider our equation of motion, and where u square will be equal to zero. Why? Because it starts from rest. It is given in the question. So two a z, two a z instead of s, I can give z because we are considering in the z direction. So and also I have a is equal to Q e by m. So since there is electric field, the electric field, the f is equal to electrostatic Lorentz force is equal to f is equal to Q e. So substitute that value. So v is equal to 2 Q e z into e z divided by m. Okay, you can uh, combine both of them, then you will get the value. All right. So question number three. An infinitely long wire carries a current I. You can see in the figure. Find the magnetic field at point P. So this is the uh, figure that I will draw here. Okay, th th this is what is the figure. This is at a distance A. There is a point. Okay, one thing you have to understand. That is infinitely long wire. Look at this. This wire is also infinitely long, and this wire will not produce a magnetic field over here. Why? Because it's on the axis. It's along the axis. The point is along the axis, so it will not produce any magnetic field. That is why it is zero. What about this one? What about this one? I have told you this is infinitely long wire. So this angle will be equal to zero. Here theta is equal to zero. What about this angle? Sine alpha plus sine beta. What about this angle? This is equal to 90 degree. So sine 90 plus sine zero. Sine zero zero. So the value is mu zero i divided by 4 pi a. So answer is very simple. Mu zero i by 4 pi a. So look at this. This is along the axis. This this point is on the axis of this one. So it will not produce any magnetic field over there. So that we have seen before, right? Okay. Question number three four. A wire bent as shown in figure carries a current I. Find the magnetic field at point P. So where is P? P is just like on the center. P is at the center. So here, here it is. Okay. And one thing is very clear. Look at this. Here, this there is a conductor. This one. Okay. I will call this conductor A, and this conductor is B. This conductor C. Conductor A 
that conductor B would not make a magnetic field or it will not produce a magnetic field over this point. Why? Because it is along the axis or on the axis. The point is on the axis, axis of A and it is also on the axis of B. So it there will be a magnetic field by this one. So you know that this is a conductor and this conductor will produce a magnetic field over here which is mu0 i divided by 2r into theta divided by 2 pi. This is the magnetic field produced by an arc. Okay, magnetic field produced by an arc of radius r. So that is equal to mu0 i divided by 2r into theta by 2 pi. Just substitute theta. Okay, so substitute theta or how much is theta? Pi by 2. So pi by 2 divided by 2 pi. U0 I divided by 8R. U0 I divided by 8R. Next one. Question number 5. The figure shows the circular wire of radius R carrying the current I. The force of compression on the wire is. Look at this. Here the figure, you know, you must have seen the figure on the question. So here B is acting inwards and the current is moving like this. And current is here in this direction, I mean in the of this direction. And B already outside, I mean external field is in inwards. So look at this, here it will be in this direction. In this direction. Okay. We need to find out the magnitude. We need to find out the magnitude. So df is equal to ideal into b. And ideal it will be ideal cos theta minus ideal cos theta and it will be in this direction. Since it is in this direction, it will be 180 degree. Okay. So then again you can integrate it, it will be i into a into b. I into a into b. Again, question number six. Am I right? Yes. Question number six. A particle of charge Q 16 into 10 to the power minus 80 coulomb moving with 10, 10 meter per second along x axis enters in a magnetic field of induction B along the y axis. Then the electric field is also given which is 10 to the power 4 volt per meter along negative z direction. If the particle continues to move along x axis, then the strength of the magnetic field is, that is a question. It is very simple question. What is the equation connecting velocity, electric field and magnetic field? Velocity is equal to E upon B. That we have seen in electromagnetic waves as well. Am I right? Yes. So V is equal to E by B. So which is equal to 10 to the power by B, which is given 10 meter per second. So B is equal to 10 to the power 3 vapor meter per square. Vapor per meter square. Okay. Question number last question, question number 7. The magnetic field strength at O due to the current I in the figure. Okay, there is a conductor which is given I will cover this possible. We have to find out the magnetic field produced by it. First of all, the, what are the, let's identify the conductors over here. When you get a question, you have to identify which all are the conductors present in the figure or in the diagram. So first one, look at this. This one. It's a circular. It's a circular arc. It's a portion, it's a, it's a three, three by fourth of a circle of radius r which is given in the figure. So this one, I can say that this is my conductor A and here one, one conductor is here D, straight conductor. Okay. Here one, one, one by four portion of a, a big circle, it is there and C and here is another straight conductor D. One thing it is very sure that conductor D and conductor D are not going to make a uh, magnetic field over here. Why? Because the point O is on the axis of B as well as D. 
so no magnetic field then what about the circle the big circle yeah obviously it will produce a magnetic field over here so i can say that the magnetic field at this point will be the r equation magnetic field produced by an r that is this equation don't forget that okay this one you can use here so it will be mu0 i divided by 2r into theta by 2 pi what is the theta here not this theta you have to consider this theta okay the other one the big one circle is big so theta should be big so that is equal to 3 pi by 2 divided by 2 pi all right plus mu0 i divided by 2 into look at this don't get confused here 2r is the radius 2 into 2r into what is the angle here here is you have to take pi by 2 so don't take there uh, 3 pi by 2 this is circle is big but angle is small so 2 pi by sorry pi by 2 divided by 2 pi that is equal to 7 so add both of them then you will get 7 mu0 i divided by 16 r 7 mu0 i divided by 16 r so these are the common types of questions you can expect from this uh, topic and there would be more uh, difficult questions or easy questions etc moderate questions could be so i would like to give you uh, along with this uh, videos i mean th uh, these videos that you, you have watched i would like to give you one additional document that is it's like it, it will be a pdf file so you can refer that additional points will be there and you can record it and you can keep it there because uh, before the exam you can just go through it it's a, it's like it's like that i mean the gist of the chapter i will include in that so you can uh, follow that and in addition to that i i give you one question paper so you can solve that and i i upload the key later okay so i'm not going to upload the the detailed solution of that most probably why because you have to solve it like i'll give you the key and if you have any doubts you can ask thank you